Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes and I've had to come back into the room. It's absolutely scorchy out there. Um, Rachel Reeves is running into some, uh, let's call it resistance, official resistance. She keeps planning to do these things that um, not only alienate everybody in the country, but are alienating people with their own party. However, it's now getting to the point where she's alienating officials and senior civil servants. Some of these mandarins in Whitehall are kind of acting now against her because they don't like the direction of travel. Uh, she's facing resistance, of course, with the fuel, uh, with the fuel payment. Um, there are um, officials there trying to slow it down or to weaken it. Um, and there's rumours going that it was officials whispering campaign that forced the vote on it. But beyond that, there's other important aspects that are, for the officials, difficult. And one is the big uplift in capital gains tax. And especially within the Treasury, the officials there are basically saying if you up you know if you up the rate of capital gains trans, uh, capital gains tax it will stop investment uh, it will bring in uh, fewer investors it will actually reduce the tax take as people will effectively uh, take avoidance uh, le well it, uh, avoidance is legal not evasion but they can take avoidance measurements and it will be a case of assets being sold very quickly the money extracted and taken uh, elsewhere, which is obviously what will happen. And, she, they're, and they're actually pointing out to her that any rise in capital gains tax will actually be worse for the country than leaving it alone. That won't stop her, of course. She's not there to make money. She's there to destroy Britain, apparently. And of course, thirdly, um, and for a lot of them, this is a very important one, is she wants to raid the Bank of England. Uh, there are reserves. They're currently legal reserves. They must legally have these reserves. Um, it's to cover banks. But she's saying that the reserves are far too high. The banks are now in a stronger position than they were, say, in 2008, when these rules were brought in after the big collapse and the likes of bearings and whatever. And uh, she wants um, these reserves reduced and the money freed up to be used by the government uh, as a SOP to, I don't know, give away to foreign countries, perhaps, seems to be the, the, the raison d'etre of this government, certainly not to improve the lives of people here, that's for sure. Uh, but again, the mandarins, the officials, the very senior civil servants, that's a Humphreys, very department, are all very much against this. Um, it reduces their emergency relief, as it were. Um, it, it takes away that freedom to do things should there be contingencies and they don't like it. And so now you've got um, the country against her, half her own party against her, and now officialdom against her. I think it's a matter of time before Rachel Reeves finds out how difficult it is to do the things she wants to do when no one is doing it for her. And the sooner the better, of course. She is absolutely destructive with every policy she's announced. And the sooner she goes, the better. Let me know what you think. Take care. Goodbye.